All right, here's going to be a demonstration of uh, controlling multiple servos simultaneously with Arduino. Um, there's a command structure for this program. Uh, this one running right now can control four servos. Uh, so you have your servo A, B, C and D, and each one of these needs to receive a value when you first send it to it. So if you wanted to send servo A 180 degrees, you would type 180, and then the rest of these would just be zero. So three zeros for B, zero, 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 zero. And now what this would do would send servo A to 180. Um, if you wanted to serve, send servo A to one, you would just send that and then followed by nine zeros because you wouldn't want, so this would move just servo A. If you want to move servo A to say 90 and servo C to 90, well, you would just send it that. And if you can't see what's going on here, look at that's servo A, that's servo B, and that's servo uh, C and D. So all you're doing is I'm, I would send angle 90 to here, angle 90 to here. Now the thing is about the zeros, is not angle zero it, in this program zero you you have to send it at least uh, at least one if you want it to move if you send it a zero it's just gonna stay where it is so the zero doesn't mean move to zero it means don't do anything every other number <clears throat> between one and 180 um, will do it so why don't I just show you what what you can do with this um, you can so you can control uh, each servo. You can control them like this. Um, you can also move them uh, two at a time. So as you can see here, this servo and this servo are going at the same time, and then you can combine them. It's just a random pattern. But you can see this servo, this servo, and this servo are all moving. It's just I only have three running right now, <clears throat> but they're all moving simultaneously. And you can also interrupt it before it finishes the command, uh, which makes it so you don't have to wait until the movement is done to issue it another command, which can be beneficial if you have like a, um, a lot of sensors controlling these positions. And if the sensor sends out new information, you know, your program can act on it immediately rather than having to wait for the last uh, servo command to finish. So here's an example. Go up, down, but if I... Even though I'm sending it commands to go all the way in one direction or the other, I can interrupt it before it gets there. And change what I want it to do. And like I showed you before, you can it, you can just send it the command. You know, if you want servo A to move to 90 and then this to move to 90 at the same time, you, this is all you would send it. Would be you would just send it that. Nine, you know, this little chunk of code. It's 12 characters long. That's the only thing is is it doesn't have any real error uh, correction. And then the one other thing to mention is that. If you send it uh, just 12 all zeros, um, what it'll do is it'll disable the power to the motors uh, so you can move it. So for instance, like right now I can't move this because the motor is being powered. But if I send it all zeros, you can see it goes, it goes limp. So here, here's, I'll show you again. This would be me, the equivalent of me sending it all zeros. So you can obviously see the motors have gone limp. 
So if you just send it, uh, so that's why you have to send it at least a one to move it. Um, now if you send it a zero and a, a command to say servo A, and these all zeros, the motor's not going to go limp. This is just going to stay where it is. All zeros is special. All right. So the code um, I'll have pasted below.